guys, I've done it. I finally, after all these hours of grinding Infinite Warfare, when sometimes it hadn't even been enjoyable to play, and two double XP weekends, which felt like regular XP weekends, we have finally got to the point where I'm about to hit Prestige 1. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing the game that will give me the experience to get to level 56, technically, which is the Prestige, um, all the way through level 55. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys what uh, I permanently unlock with my perma unlock token and what classic weapon I unlock. So pause the video right now and let me know what you guys think that I'm going to unlock with my classic weapon unlock token. And at the end of this video, um, we're going to be doing something special. Uh, this is how I'm going to do this for the duration of Infinite Warfare. I'm going to be opening all the supply drops that I have occurred from this prestige. And uh, that's with the the commons that I've been getting through the uh, the daily bonuses and all the keys that I have from the prestige from this prestige process. And the way I'm going to do my prestige videos is I'm going to do them once every couple of prestiges so that I can uh, show you guys the classic weapons that I unlock uh, for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so we are back and this is going to be the episode, or not the episode, the match where I hit Prestige 1. Ah, got you. I need like 850 experience to hit Prestige 1. I'm blind. I am literally blind. Ray Charles would have seen that guy better than me. And for all my buddies that are watching this, Glenn would have seen that better than me. Really? Come on! Some grade A bull. Come on, where are they going? Nope, not up here. Actually, yes, up here. Gotcha. No. And I'm lagging. Yeah, that's fun. Always fun. All right. Did that guy not see me? How did he not see me? He ran right past me. Really? Reloading. Really? Throw that over there just to make sure nobody comes behind me. Owns me. Okay, mate. Was about to say I better have got that guy. Let me make sure I, that guy got killed because I'm not so sure he did. Enemy okay. In your I was about to say, I'm not so sure he did. I kind of don't trust my teammates. Uh, these are these are randos, and I don't trust them. I don't trust people I don't know, guys. Oh, oh, that guy. Got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, after this game, I should be prestige. Ah! So, it shouldn't pop up as an icon, I don't think. Oh, oh, oh. Got you. Got you, too. I should open a furniture store because you guys need a place to sit your butt down, sucker. Mm. And I, when I start talking crap is when I die the most. Really? Uh, really hope they don't nerf this gun too bad because there is a nerf coming for this gun. And I have a feeling it's going to be bad. This could be the Vesper of Infinite Warfare. Gun that everybody used and then got nerfed. There is a nerf coming or a weapon balancing coming. Um, one of the multiplayer designers tweeted out saying that there's going to be adjustments made to some weapons. 
And guys, DLC 1 drops January 31st, which is awesome. So it's two months away, which, I mean, is normal because, you know, we've only been in the life cycle of the game for a month. They usually bring out DLCs once every three months. So, but let's get back on track here. We're nine and six. I should have enough experience, but I don't want to, don't want to jinx it. I've been doing really good tonight, man. I dropped a 20 bomb earlier, and I don't really, rarely ever drop 20 bombs. But we we dropped the 20 bomb. Oh. And I got a clip of me destroying an entire team, which that's something I normally don't do as well. Come on. I should have turned on that guy. I tried to. I'm going to active camo soon. Yep. Really? That guy killed him. I'll get that guy to make up for it. This MV4 is amazing. I already did a best class setup on it. I need to... I don't know. This, this gun is just amazing. Because it... it it, it's good at everything like I mean literally everything and it's a gun that I feel like it's gonna get nerfed badly like I said a minute ago and it shouldn't they just need to do some minor tweaks to it maybe decrease the range when you're using a suppressor you know infinity war guys if you're watching this video decrease the range on a suppressor Decrease the the damage. Oh gosh, he face shifts. He face shifted. Where did he go? Oh no. I knew he face shifted. Cause I'm the scumbag that uses that payload all the time. I know what it is. I love that payload. I'm gonna do a video on that payload probably for Monday. Turn on that guy. How 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 you feel getting turned on? That, that, cause, you know, getting, having OAG turn on you, it's not something you should be, should be proud of. You should be very ashamed of yourself for, for me turning on you. Threw that down there just to see if I can get anybody. And there was a guy down there. He was just hiding. Playing some hide and seek, okay? It's not mini game Monday, man. You gotta wait till Monday for that. Oh, almost got him. Almost got that little putty patrol wannabe looking thing. Fulcher, that's nice. That's a good piece of hardware. Really? And that's going to do it for the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this run out. And uh, we will see you guys when we get out of this game okay guys so we're back we're gonna back out of this lobby what we're gonna do we're gonna custom we're gonna go to or public we're gonna go to barracks going to go to enter prestige see we're at we're at zero i have 1200 salvage 223 keys and i think i have like four common supply drops that we're gonna open and uh let's go ahead and hit i'm gonna do it with my nose I'm gonna prestige with the nose oh we we see oh it gives us the time before we can do it see that's a nice little function just in case you don't want to do it right away but you get the perma unlock one calling card nice and you get the classic weapon unlock so we're going to enter the prestige and we're now prestige one baby hit continue all right now let's see perma unlock i already know what i'm going to perma unlock so what we're going to do is we are going to go to perks we are going to go to perk three and we're perma unlocking dead silence because dead silence is bay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our classic unlock token. What should we unlock? It's not going to be the Hornet because I don't like the Hornet. I don't snipe as often, so I'm going to leave the TF-141 or the Intervention for later. The M1 could be, and I'm not that big of a shotgun user in this game. So it's going to come down to the back tab and the M1. 
What am I going to pick, guys? Pause the video if you want to take a guess. Leave those in the comment section. Alright, guys. I'm going to have to go with the Mac tab. Or the UMP. My bad. I know a lot of these old COD people are like, but, but Morton Power, it's not the Mac tab. It's the, it's the UMP. I understand that. So what we're going to do is now we are going to do supply drop openings. So I have 223 keys, which that should be seven, eight supply drops, seven rares, and one common with those, and then we'll add on the four. So we'll start with the commons. Let's start with the commons. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Getting duplicate salvage too. If I get enough salvage, there is a variant that I want to unlock for you guys on on the uh, the video, but I don't think I will. Garbage. Like my COD shot. The garbage. <sighs> to expect out of a common supply drop. Alright, let's go to the rares. See if we can get anything good. No, we're not going to purchase copper points. I'm not doing that at all this year. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. But it's for the LMGs. I'll go look at that in a minute. It's for the LMGs. I wish I could get it for the subs. That would be cool. Stud for the assault rifles. I think I already have that though. Yeah, I already have that. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Come on. Ooh, Kim Light. Nice. Nice, nice. Come on. Come on, come on. Something good. Give me an other epic. Oh, DMR1 Summit. I'll have to try that out when I unlock it again. Death to the UNSA. I think I'm going to equip that if I can. Will it let me? No, it won't. Oh, man. That sucks. Come on, something good. Salvage currency. Really? Okay. We have enough for one more. Come on, something good. Please be something epic. Please be something epic. The Reaver Machete. I've used this gun, picking it up off the ground. It is amazing. And we're definitely going to get a gameplay with it. This this thing is interesting, to say the least. It's got a bayonet on it. You got the well, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section what you thought of the not only the gameplay, but the supply drop opening, too. That's how we're going to do things on the channel. I'm going to open supply drops after every single uh, two procedures that I do. And I actually have one more common. So we're going to open the common and see what we get. Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try to do these every two prestiges, but uh, that's going to do it. So, um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, catch y'all in the next video.